Hi, this is Dave Keys on behalf of Keys Tech, and I want to address a question that gets asked frequently enough, and yet oddly without answers on the internet. Um, the the best that you can find is a range or people trying to get you to give them an email address in order to quote you a price for a system. Well, why is that? Uh, it's not that necessarily people are trying to be obtuse about the pricing of a DAF system, which you're looking at here, a typical rendition of a DAF. Um, so dissolved air flotation is maybe a little more complex than people actually understand. And, and what I've seen is that on the internet, it's not very, very well explained at all. But dissolved air flotation systems start not with wastewater or flocculants or uh, uh, any kind of, um, you know, what the water is doing at a particular point in the process. It really starts with chemistry. And it starts with a little thing called a valence electron. Valence electrons is what enables atoms, so this is at the atomic level actually, it enables atoms to bond together or repel each other or whatever's going on chemically or electronically, electrically. So you get a charge with valence electrons when they are caused to move from one atom that has such electrons, and not all of them do. Uh, so you move from one atom to another and suddenly you've got a situation where you've got a charge, a negative charge and a positive charge between these atoms. Uh, this is the principle behind semiconductors and lots of other chemical processes, but it's not talked a lot about in uh, DAF systems. Well, as you introduce chemicals into the DAF process, of course, then you're creating a charge. That's what makes the air bubbles collect the solid waste. And every kind of solid waste and every, every kind of waste application has a different need for a different chemical to introduce the charge to those bubbles in a way that will attract the waste solids. And if you don't get that chemical solution right, then you're going to have no effect or an, an over uh, action of some part of the process that causes your entire process to fail. Also, what happens with DAF systems is they're made out of, um, well, here's some chemicals. Um, DAF systems are made out of metals and, uh, and, and components that are subject to, to, um, to wear, chemical wear, chemical uh, degradation. And so the way that you construct a DAF and the way that you have that DAF working is going to depend on somewhat your application, what your expectations are for that unit to uh, process different kinds of solid wastes. You might have arsenic, you might have uh, food residue, uh, chicken fats, you might have oils, you might have something else. So a DAF unit needs to be constructed in a way that not only is going to deal with the actual wastewater that you're going to be treating, but also the kind of chemicals and chemical um, um, percentages, the chemical compounds that you're going to be introducing into your process. And it matters what your construction is like in order to withstand over time these chemicals. So keep in mind that a DAF system can cost as much to operate as it does to purchase uh, between the chemicals and, and maintenance of the DAF, replacement of pumps, etc. Um, so you want to have a DAF that's constructed correctly for your application. And that's not easy to just like pick out. These aren't 40 econolines. lines. These are complex pieces of equipment that take a lot of thought and years of experience in engineering to develop the right kind of unit to process um, the wastewater for your particular application. That's why you see a lot of people just saying, contact us. That's really what you need to do. Now, unless you're an engineer who's prepared to do all this uh, calculation yourself and somehow you've got 20 or 30 years of experience under your belt, you're going to want to contact professionals. I recommend World Water Works, these fellows have been in the business for uh, decades. Uh, they know how to deliver custom systems that are going to meet your needs at affordable prices. And again, uh, keep in mind, I mean, I'm going to tell you the price of a DAF unit you know, is anywhere from $100,000, maybe even a little less for a small DAF, uh, to a million dollars. But that upfront price is not what you should be looking at. There's a TCO that you want to pay attention to. That uh, total cost of ownership is going to be the big factor in how long that thing lasts, how its components work, what kind of application you have, and how that's going to perform for you. Is it going to process water effectively, or are you going to have kind of a drag on your efficiency, causing you to use more and more energy and parts to get something done that should have been done a lot cheaper? 
as it is, a DAF system can save you millions of dollars a year on pollution credits. Lots of um, businesses can't even go into business without dealing with this issue of treating wastewater before it's returned to municipalities. So contact the professionals over at World Waterworks. They will help you get started on understanding what your application is going to require and finding the right solution for you. This is Dave Keys for Keys Tech signing off. Thanks for watching.